Yo, what up? It's me. My Kindle's fully charged. I'm ready to do some fucking gameplay. Let's do it. Cool. I got some stuff out of the way. Just watching some videos for my Kindle to charge. I do have stuff ready to go. Uh, the guys are at All Trades Abbey. I got one of the classes started. I just need to find some mini medals. Get those classes trained. And I should be all set and ready to go. Dragon Quest should be done if I have a steady schedule. It should be done up to three to four weeks. Earliest, at least three. Because it's going to take a long fucking time to do those dungeons. Because there's a fucking shit ton of them. Alright, I got to go through them. got to fight the boss. And that's just basically what it is. Also, I have to grind for levels, so I gotta get my party up to a higher level than normally when they are. So that's gonna be fun. I kind of be a little sarcastic, but you know. I swear. I was just thinking about. My channel and all that. I've grown significantly since the past seven to eight months. I'm. No. Yeah. Nine months. Because we're so close to ten. It's almost a fucking year. And I did so much. Um, would you believe me if I said I had over 10,000 videos at one point? Or 12,000? I had a fuck ton of videos. I really did. And I'm going to have a crap ton of Let's Plays to play. And I put a lot of time in these games. Like for fucking Dragon Quest. I've put a ridiculous amount of hours trying to find the mini medals, trying to get the fucking hearts, trying to make sure every single fucking enemy I fought. You know, sh tiny little shit like that. Just trying to fucking get everything in the game and trying to get the most powerful weapons so I can beat the fucking dungeons and all of that. I'm really, really fucking trying here. Because I want to stand out. But I know my limits and I appreciate if I can at least for a Mega Man game, if I can beat the eight bosses, that's all that matters. Because if, if, if I can't beat the eight bosses, then I fucking failed as a Let's Player. I know I can't get to Wily because Wily's castles are fucking horse shit. And let's be fucking wheel. Wheel? Fucking Elmer Fudd. Uh, let's get real here. I'm I'm never going to make it through a fucking Wily Castle without fucking rewind or save states. There is no fucking way. And I know this. With Bowser, I could probably make it through because you know, it's fucking Mario. Mega Man's completely different difficulty setting and difficulty different thing. As you can see, I pick very carefully on which games I fucking play. Because I know, like, okay, do I want to show this game off? Or how long I can play it? What I can do? Shit like that. I I pick a game based on my ability to play the game and what I can do for the game. If no one watches the game, that's fine. I don't care if you guys don't like it or not. It's just something optional for you guys to watch. I mean, I, I would really appreciate it if all of you watched my videos. That would really make my day and make me not feel like I just wasted time but again I love doing these games because I really get to fucking talk out and you guys get to hear my voice and you get to see me like oh he's not just some lame ass fucking guy that doesn't know how to edit I'm a guy that really thinks things through if I get better editing skills I will be no better than the completionist in mini lab just another number in the YouTubers that use high equipment. I am not them. And I don't want to be the guys who do promotions and get their own merch. I want to generally play games to get people interested and for them to have fun with the game. Not just be stupid or fucking use merch or whatever the fuck else. That merch and higher quality videos and all that shit, that's second to me. A game is always... First, if I can get someone at least connected with the game or at least wanting to attempt to watch what the game is and try it out for themselves, that's all that fucking matters to me. That's all that matters. 
if I can get someone hooked, then I did a good fucking job. And that's all it is. I'm a fucking workhorse. Trust me. I, I fucking... I can go without a few hours without eating. I can go a few hours without drinking water. I've done it before. I've done it in high school. I've done it in college. Um, I've just been eating a lot of shit recently. So... A lot more shit than I normally do. That's why I gained so much fucking weight. But I'm regaining my muscle, which is good. Because I'm working harder. So I'm getting my muscle back. Which is awesome. Because I've missed my muscle a lot. So I've been shadow boxing. I've been lifting stuff. I've been running around. I've been trying not to eat a lot of carbs. Or eating less than I normally do. Just so I can fucking keep my muscle in my body. Because I want it to be mostly muscle. I'm, I'm getting some of my arm strength back, which is awesome. From Because I missed it from fucking high school. Uh, I'm not technically the fittest person in the world. I'm not. So don't try to do what I fucking did. I mostly survived off of fucking peanut butter sandwiches, which is sh not fucking healthy. Uh, I would recommend just fucking eat whatever and just have lesser proportions. But going back to what I am, I am a workhorse. As you can see throughout the channel, I literally try my best to make sure if I can't do something for the Let's Play, I try to show off at least other versions, show tidbits of what the game was, at least something to get you guys interested in the game. And that's all, all that matters. I want people to get invested. And that's all I can do. I can get people invested in the game. That's really, really all I can do. But damn, dude, look at look at this shit. Forty-five days. We are halfway through. We are like five days from halfway there. That is fucking insane. I can't believe I did this game for so long. But I'm glad I did. Because you guys get to like, this series is not like but like me just doing gameplay, but it, this Let's Play really just, you get to see the, inside the mind of me. Some videos I don't really talk a lot because I'm tired. But when I'm really like awake, you really get to see like what I think. Like what I'm like, what I feel, what I'm feeling at the moment, how I feel about work, how I feel about myself. I went through a fucking journey, my dudes. And this second channel is supposed to be like my renaissance. It's supposed to be me dedicating myself to the fans and to the games that I play. Not much to the extent. If I can't do something, then I can't do something. Like for Rusty in some of the games. I do a game depending upon how long I think I can do it and how long people just want to see it. Swap Note was kind of a mess, and people kind of like just dissed itself off. But I recommend you guys watch Swap Note. I recommend you watch Nintendo Magic Arcade. I know it's the same boring shit, but I'm gonna try to at least add some interesting commentary to make it more enjoyable to watch. I'm not always gonna be like this. I'm always gonna be tired. But let's be honest, it's funny to see tired dry, isn't it? I say the most weirdest shit, or I'm just silent, breathing like Darth Vader. And you know, it's just something that I do, and I'm not proud of, but oh well. Tomorrow you'll see Ninjala as well, and today I'm actually going to put some effort into fucking playing Paper Mario and Goat Simulator, so I hope you guys will look forward to that. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace, stay crispy, and I'll see you guys later.